Hi everyone, this is Bella from Unlock Your Design with a daily Jinky horoscope for Wednesday, January 25th. Here in the astrological chart, we see that the moon is meeting up with Neptune in gate 36. This is the gate of crisis and turbulence. The moon has to do with our emotions. Pisces has to do with our emotions, is mutable water. And then Neptune has to do with our illusions. It has to do with what's possible, but also what's veiled. The same thing with Pisces is kind of beyond what's tangible. The moon is also connected with Pluto in the gate of limitation through this trine, and then with Lilith at the end of gate 56. I see this as a healing opportunity. Some of our emotions that can veil what's really there for us. We don't really see in the muddy waters, in the emotional waters where there's a lot of turbulence. There's a healing opportunity for some of the things that can be repressed in us, the rage or the distraction that doesn't allow us to step up to our leadership. And then with Pluto breaking through some of the limitations as well that are not allowing us to move forward. We have another aspect that ties into this, which is the square between Chiron and Mercury. And here we see a connection between gate 38 and gate 21, which are both part of the cross of tension. So here dialogues, either inner dialogues or with others, where we have the possibility to step up to our true authority, to be in valor and to stop the struggle that isn't worth it. You're gonna see in the Jinky chart that the attraction sphere is also 38. So when it comes to our relationships, it's also part of this transformational work that can be done this day. It's a four, six day. So it's important to have this more visionary mindset of what's possible. When we're hit by the moon and Neptune and just feel like we are drowning in the turbulence or the drama, important to see what's the possibility. What is it that may be suppressed here that wants to come up the limitation that I'm supposed to see, the conversations that I need to have so I can get the head over the water and so I can break through some of these things that have been holding me back. Here we have the jinky chart. This is the cross of the unexpected. So even if we have some emotional challenges, some shadow work to do, what's possible? When we dare, we have the daredevil in the radiance, and we have the grid worker in the SQ. Those are both Scorpio archetypes that dare to go deep, that dare to do the shadow work. The main archetype for Wednesday is still the originator. So this whole week, we have a connection between the sun and Venus, which is the SQ and the life's work that are creating this definition in the body graph between the emotional center and the root center. So here we have the fuel for an experience, the fuel to feel, which is also in the circuitry of the body graph connecting to that 36. The pearl and the culture in the Jinky chart is coded by Jupiter. The pearl is the conscious Jupiter and the culture is the unconscious Jupiter. Jupiter has to do with our expansion. And in order for us to expand, we need to follow the guideline or the law of Jupiter. The pearl here being the conscious side is speaking to us about farsightedness, about being able to zoom in and out. So whatever comes to us this day, the struggle that we feel with the other or the turbulence that we can feel inside or that illusion, delusion, it's to not be too quick to judge, to have an opinion about it, to be able to zoom in and out because the moon is going to move on fast. And we have many other aspects that are coming in this week and that are going to color our experience. So don't be too quick to make a conclusion. This is the last day on the cross of the unexpected where anything can happen. Make sure that you're keeping this four, six, the bigger perspective, staying in your heart. And if you can, spending time with people that have a similar vision as you have. Those are the main themes for Wednesday, and I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.